inside their hearts, they felt the same. A flame, a warm, strong feeling that Jesus had entered his home within them. Are you ready? It's Red Kids! Get ready, get set. Hi boys and girls, welcome to church. Remember this month we are learning that we have the best God and we know that He is always with us. I have the best God and you have the best God. We have the same best God. Isn't that cool? And this Sunday is a special Sunday. It's another one where we celebrate one of the very, very special things that Jesus did for us. What do you think it could be? Let's go and find out from Mikey and Auntie Candy. Mikey, do you know that today is a celebration Sunday? Why? Because we have Jesus? Oh, I suppose that's true. Then I suppose every day is a celebration, right? Yep, because my Jesus is the best. But today is Pentecost. Penta what? Pentecost. Today we celebrate when Jesus gave us His super strong Holy Spirit to live in our hearts. Let's listen to our Bible story. Okay. It was after Easter. Jesus' grave was empty. Jesus was alive again. And because He had died and come back to life again, He could give everybody a super clean, pure heart. But that heart was not just a heart. It was meant to be a home, His home. But what happened after Jesus died and came back to life? He was on earth for a while and then He went to heaven. But right before He went, He said to His friends, My friends, I am going to heaven, but I will not leave you alone. Don't be sad. Go to the upper room, which was like their meeting place, and wait there because I will send my own super strong spirit. That way I can live in your hearts. Your hearts will be my home. Then I can always be with you and you and you and you, with all of you at the same time. You will never be alone. You will always be with me. We will always be together. And I can help you whenever you need it. So the disciples and their friends all gathered in the upper room. And then what happened? A wind starts to blow in the room. How is that possible? It's not a normal wind. The people in the room are amazed. This is so special and so strange. Is this what Jesus said would happen? Suddenly, above the heads of all the people, a small flame appears. Inside their hearts, they felt the same. A flame, a warm, strong feeling that Jesus had entered his home within them, in their hearts. Isn't that special? And what a surprise for all the people in the room. Big smiles and happy faces. Of course, they couldn't help but start praising Jesus. Jesus, you are with me. You are my King, the King of my heart. And then they all started singing and talking, even in other languages. This was the first time Jesus could live in everyone's hearts. And after this first Pentecost, everyone who believed in Jesus would have Jesus' spirit in their hearts too. Like me! Yes, your heart is a home for Jesus. He is with you with His super strong spirit in your heart to help you every day. Jesus is really with me and can help me wherever I go? Wherever you go, wherever you are. Uh, in my bathroom? Yes. Uh, at school? Yes. Uh, what about at my cousin's house? Everywhere you go, he goes. For always and forever? Even when you are old and grey. Always and forever. But wait, what if our friends don't know if they have Jesus' the Spirit living in their hearts? Then they can pray with us. Jesus, I think you are the best God and that you want to live with me in my heart because you love me and you want to be with me always. I would love that too. 
Amen. Hooray! Now he's with you and he lives in your heart and nothing can change that. Yay! And what do we do when we want to remember our special Jesus? <gasps> Communion! Join us, everybody. Get a piece of bread or a cracker and water or juice and say this poem with us. Are you ready? Let's, Let's go. This is the bread. This is the wine. The special communion we combine. His blood has washed us white as snow. His body was broken. All sickness must go. I believe it's for me, for you and for all. His love picks us up whenever we fall. We remember the cross and all that you've done. Jesus, our Savior, God's precious Son. Now, what should we sing today, Auntie Candy? Hmm, what about Jesus, you're my superhero? <gasps> I love that one! Me too! today that Jesus didn't leave us alone. He gave us a helper, the Holy Spirit, to help us every day of our lives. It's so, so wonderful to know that we are never, ever alone. Remember, we have the best God and we know that He is always, always, always with us. That includes you. So let's close in prayer. Oh Lord Jesus, thank you for giving us a helper that is always, always with us. Thank you for your Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, amen. Have a wonderful week, boys and girls. We love you. Bye. And action. <laughs> <laughs>
And so, okay. Mm -mm. And <laughs> <laughs> intro without balloons. Without balloons.